Not only uh, do we perceive the world as having form and color and depth, we're also able to perceive motion. And um, there are a couple of interesting things about our ability to do so. Now, usually um, the way that we perceive motion uh, is that our brain makes an assumption. Uh, it assumes that objects that appear to be getting larger are moving towards us um, and that objects that appear to be shrinking are moving away from us. Um, that's the assumption that our brain makes. Um, however, this system is not foolproof. Um, we don't always perceive motion um, completely accurately using uh, this um, shortcut. Uh, for example, um, two objects moving at the exact same speed, one larger and one smaller, will be perceived as moving at different speeds. Um, large objects oftentimes appear to be moving slower than smaller objects. Um, if you live near an airport, for example, uh, the really, really jumbo jets always seem to be moving a little bit slower um, than their smaller jet counterparts. They're not actually moving slower, they just appear to be so. Um, now, our brain also has the ability to perceive motion out of still images. This is how we're able to see movies. Um, movies are just a string of um, a lot of still images presented in uh, really rapid succession. Uh, and this ability um, or this phenomenon is known as uh, stroboscopic motion. Um, it's when the, brave is, the brain is going to perceive continuous motion in a rapid series of slightly varying images. Uh, and you've experienced this in a very low-tech way. If you've ever um, played with a flip book or if you've made one yourself, um, you are creating the illusion of movement by using uh, stroboscopic motion. Another kind of interesting thing uh, is something called the um, phi phenomenon, uh, where we actually perceive motion. Uh, it's an illusion, but we perceive motion or movement when um, adjacent lights blink on or off in quick succession. So I've given you two different examples of this. Um, the one involving the yellow lights is just a very, very simple example of the phi phenomenon. Uh, the light appears to be moving um, across the top and bottom row. You see an illusion of movement um, and see some sort of like general path that the light is following, even though it's just, um, you know, flashing uh, from one dot to the next. We see um, a common fate there, that it's moving in a certain direction. And then um, the blue dots are probably the more famous example of the phi phenomenon. It's a more interesting one. Um, first, it clearly looks very much like there's something that's moving in that image. And then the other really cool thing about this example is that um, you actually see when that blue dot uh, blinks off, you see pretty solidly an image um, of a disk there. Um, you see the after image of a disk there. Um, and if you Google this, uh, you'll actually be able to find different color versions of it. Um, for example, there's a green and a pink one. Uh, and here I've actually found it for you. And with this one, if you stare at that cross in the center, um, you're going to see pretty quickly what appears to be a green dot traveling around the circle. If you then look away from the cross to where that green dot is supposed to be, you'll realize there's not actually a green dot there the the pink dots are disappearing but a green dot is not actually dis is not actually appearing and so this is a combination of the phi phenomenon uh, paired with the after image of that which you should have already recognized